So I'm about 40, 50 meters off the forest floor here up in the canopy, this ancient western red cedar um, that's easily six to eight hundred years old. Um, pretty freaking cool experience. And this ecosystem is incredibly unique to these old trees, hosting all sorts of different lichen, um, you know, from Usnia to Cladonia, some Loberia up there, and all sorts of different epiphytes that you'd normally see on the ground, such as red huckleberry and a western hemlock here, way off the forest floor. And all these cavities of these branches collect water and moss, which allows things to grow and form unique habitat for species like amphibians, like salamanders and Pacific tree frogs who live up here exclusively in the canopy of these old growth forests, while these big, broad branches also make prime nesting ground for migratory birds like marble mural and spotted owls and these little ecosystems are very rare um, and very rarely experienced and thus often unaccounted for and this is what we lose when we log these forests as it takes hundreds if not thousands of years to reestablish themselves with the depth of biodiversity that we have here so even if a second growth tree grows to be this tall intricate crowns like this only begin to develop after 200 to 300 years which essentially means they're irreplaceable